Juneteenth, a holiday taking on new importance among the growing demands for racial justice. It's a day marking when word finally reached Texas that slavery was over, more than two years after the Emancipation Proclamation was issued by President Lincoln in 1863. All across the country, we're likely to see celebrations showing the importance of black culture and pride. Well, everyone, we know that everyone eats, everyone consumes on in some way or some form of fashion, but taking that and kind of putting the acknowledgement into where those recipes came from, um, I think that that matters. I think that may be the piece that has been missing with giving the acknowledgement of where these things come from. So really learning the history of food, giving the credit to the black chefs that have created. In honor of Juneteenth, a local chef is debuting her food truck during Food Truck Fridays. Chef Simone says it's an extension of the Black History Food and Culture Festival from February. She hopes this event will help bring more interest in the community. This, we had great feedback. The city loved it. So I thought of the new idea, especially with the launch of the food truck, that Juneteenth would be the perfect day, you know, to incorporate all of that and make it a big community-wide festival. The event will be at Club M on 521 3rd Avenue West in Birmingham. All ages are welcome to attend. President Trump says he made Juneteenth famous. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal, he says nobody had ever heard of the holiday before he brought it up. The president was originally scheduled to hold his first political rally since the start of the coronavirus pandemic tomorrow in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Now, Tulsa is the site of the Black Wall Street massacre 99 years ago, where mobs of white residents attacked black residents and businesses. The rally was moved to Saturday. As we said earlier, there are a slew of Juneteenth events happening across central Alabama. We've got them all laid out for you on our WVTM 13 app.